Let's talk about pages 9 and 10. Um, I'm not going to read page 9 to you. Um, a commutative property, remember what commute means? If you're adding two things, like let's say 3 and 5, you can switch the order. They can commute. You can go back and forth and it doesn't change the answer. All right, so commutative property, associative property just means if we're adding, we can change the order that we're adding things and it doesn't change the answer. Um, identity I, axiom, look at that, you're just adding zeros onto everything. Yeah, you get the same thing. And then the inverse, now we're going to use that one. Let's look at that one briefly. So down here at the bottom, we have 1, negative 3, negative 2, 5. If we add the opposites, so negative 1, the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2, the opposite of negative 3, 3, negative 5. Then when you add those two matrices together, you get 0, 0, 0, 0. All right, we're going to use that <clears throat> to solve, get my marker. But before we do that, think back to pre-algebra. Remember when this was the hardest math you had to do? X plus 5 equals 7. Huh, what is that? X plus 5 equals 7. Of course, you know the answer off the top of your head, but think about the steps that we go through. We're actually saying X plus 5 and then plus its opposite. We call this the additive inverse. So negative 5 plus 5, and then over here we're going to do 7 plus negative 5. So we're adding the same thing to both sides, and that would give you 2, wouldn't it? Here, x minus 3 equals 9, we would add 3 to undo the minus 3. Add 3 to both sides, and then x equals 12. All right, that part's easy. Let's talk about how we apply that to matrices, okay? If I want to solve for x, literally I need to make this turn into 0, okay? So think about what you're going to add here. It's like adding the additive inverse of this. Ah, I'm going to put it underneath. I usually put it side by side, but I'm going to put it underneath. 4 and 1. Let's do the same thing over here. Negative 2, negative 3, 4 and 1. All right, so you see how all of these are exactly the opposite of what we have up here. So if I added these two together, it would become 0, 0, 0, 0. Because 2 times negative plus negative 2, 3 plus negative 3, all right? So basically, we got that to cancel out. And I have x equals, and now we just add these four corners. 5 plus negative 2 is 3. 8 plus 4 is 12. 7 plus negative 3 is 4. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. All right, this is still new enough to me. I just want to make sure I'm not leading you astray. So I am looking up here. I just did this problem up here at the top of page 10. 3, 12, 4, negative 1. Yay! We got the right solution, okay? Now, what happens if we are subtracting? Okay, this is, I think, one of the problems you have in your homework. I'm not going to finish this one for you, but I will set it up. Think about what we did here. To undo subtraction, we added this. So right now this is saying subtract this. But you know what? If we just said, I'm going to take this over here and add the same thing, negative 3, 2, 0, 1. Now let's put them together. 7 plus <clears throat> negative 3. 7 plus 2. Negative 3 plus 0. Well, I told you I wasn't going to finish it. I almost did. See, you almost tricked me. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> now they go through a process of saying the minus changes these to their opposites. Okay. Then you add the opposite of all of these onto this to isolate x. But you know what? By the time you go through that, you're taking this original thing and adding it to this. So why go through all of that? I don't understand. Save yourself a step, okay? So if it is subtraction, think back to what we did here. We undo subtraction by adding the same quantity to the other side. So that's what we're going to do here. <clears throat> Take this, bring it over, and then, the, then it's going. It's like we're adding this to it, okay? Simplify. 
Now I'm grabbing the square key just to make sure. Negative three, two, four. Um, page 10, number four. Mm -hmm. So if I added that, I would get four, uh -huh, and nine, uh -huh, and uh -huh, and yay! All right, now, you know what? I found a boo-boo in the score key. I don't know if you catch this or not. If you've got a really good eye at the very top of page 34, when you score question number three, see if you catch the boo-boo. I'll tell you what it is. They, for some reason, wrote X equals this matrix, and it should be X plus. Okay? And then they're adding the reciprocal, the inverse, to that. But it should be X plus, and then your equals is down here. So, if that bothers you, change it in the score key. The score key was wrong. It's not X equals, it's X plus. Whew. All right, we're going to keep moving.